will be quick. Ray Hemel, representing the Texas Public Employees Association, TPEA. And the figure I want to leave in your mind is 27%. Uh, thanks to LBB, uh, we, have, we know that since the last significant pay raise given, or last real pay raise given to state employees in September of 2014, there's been an increase in inflation of 27%. Uh, but the other figure, of course, is the average turnover in the last five years at this agency has been 27 percent, interestingly enough. Uh, clearly, pay is one of the contributors to retention of valued employees. And I think we sometimes underappreciate uh, how uh, much of a national treasure, really, our state capital is. I mean, our dome, that we often forget, is, is larger than the dome of the nation's capital. Um, and redoing that roof is a tremendous project, and, and we really want to have qualified people overseeing that. Um, and uh, so we really urge you to consider the pay raise request by the State Preservation Board for uh, the 10 percent salary increase, the $2 an hour increase for employees, and remembering that around Austin especially, you're competing with the Buckies down the road at paying $20 an hour to a lot of their employees. Uh, you're competing with Amazon paying $18 an hour. You're competing with um, all kinds of uh, folks. The city of Austin has just raised their minimum salary, I think, a minimum wage for employees to $20 an hour. So those are the kinds of, that's the kind of market they're in in trying to get qualified people to, to do the, the necessary work that they do. But in general, we support a pay raise as requested by the Preservation Board. And any questions? Uh, any questions? All right. 27%.